okay all of you hope you guys are great so in the last video we learned that how we can exclude the secret nft from our aggregate stats model okay so if you haven't watched make sure you to watch in the i button in the descriptions i'll link that video okay in this video we're going to talk about let's say some important concepts so let me scroll all the way down so this is what we have covered in the last video okay these are the things we have already covered all these things and now we're going to talk about that how we can add validators okay whatever data we are getting from the clients from the user we don't want to accept those data as it is because sometimes what happened that your user will add some malicious code in that and if you save that will create problem in your database okay so make sure you should always sanitize the code make sure you check the code check the information which users are providing double okay after that you can save to the database okay so here we're going to write that how you can add uh, inbuilt validators in your schema model which validate the data and this inbuilt validators are coming from the mongoose okay so first we'll talk about the inbuilt validators of mongoose then we'll move to the that how you can use the custom validators and at the end we're going to talk about that how you can use the external npm package to validate this data there's a lot of things you can do we're going to step take one step at a time okay so let's talk about it so first thing we want to do is i want to validate this name so here we have this max length so if you want that the user should provide the name in a minimum character okay minimum or maximum character so we have a validator for this so we'll say define the character and we have to type the message okay so we'll say nft must have 40 characters okay very simple validator same thing we have to do the min so we can say 10 character is minimum and we can say min and here you have noticed that we have also used this unique trim these are also a validator this is a mongoose validator which will validate the data okay okay so hope these things are making sense so this is how you can check the length of the text so to test this out what we can do we can come here and let's try to just create an nft and with a data okay so if i make a request i'll get an error because it says that fail and it's a validation error and the message i got that nft must have 10 characters so it's working fine okay it's working fine that's working fine now if we come back to the update one and if i do the same thing here so if what i will do i will simply take an id and try to update that okay so i'll simply provide it here and i'll try to click in so here you can see i get this error again so when i'm trying to create i'm getting an error and i'm trying to update i'm also getting that validation error okay and why it's happening so you might be asking this question that why we are getting why it's happening exactly so let's come back here and let's go to this nft control and where we are updating the data you can see so let's go to the update function and here you can see here we have run validator okay because of this function our validation is running again and checking the data the user are providing okay so because of this we are easily able to validate the data twice okay so hope this things make sense to all of you guys now let's move to the second validator which is a average rating so again we need to verify validate this okay so we want to set the minimum and maximum the rating okay so let's take min and we'll say one must have okay and the max is going to be let's say five here we have to define the five and this will become max okay and this min and max can only work on numbers but in the above case we have used the min length and max length that's only work on string not on number okay that's the thing you have to keep in mind so this is for numbers we have here and this will work fine so let's come back to the let's say post and let's try to create an nft and let's bring this down first thing we have to do is to provide the full name okay it should be more than 10 characters and now what i can do is i can come back to the rating and i can increase this to something let's say seven okay let's hit a request and i'll get an error and here you can see i got an error message have five must have five rating okay if i make it 4.7 i'll this is successful and i can able to create that nft so working fine let's come here so this is also working fine and that's working fine now let's start working on the difficulty okay so remember that we have three types of difficulties one is for easy medium and difficulty okay so this is a very simple things we have written but what if happens but what happens sometimes that user can provide other field as well instead of difficulty they can type something else okay so we want to display a proper error message that you can either choose easy 
medium or difficulty okay so for that with the validator we're going to use which is called enum okay so let me show you what do i mean by that let's come here and we're going to take this enum and here we can define the fields we want to allow okay so we can say easy medium and we can say difficulty but you might be thinking that from where we can define the error message okay if you define the error message in this way it could be another possible field okay so we're going to simply cut this and we're going to take an object and here we can define this we'll define the values so we'll say values and we have this and now we can define the message okay we'll say difficulty is either not either either easy medium and it's called difficulty okay so if anybody is trying to provide like out of this range easy medium and difficult they will get this error message okay so this is a enum validator and now we can test it out let's come here and let's come here and here you can see we have the different name and let's change this to something else so this is our difficulty and let's send this random number okay now let's try to hit the request and boom here we have got the error you can see difficulty must either easy medium and default difficulty okay so that's also working fine let's bring back easy and if we click on enter and here we have all this data back okay so that's how we can add in a multi-choice options in our schema model okay and validate that and now we're going to work on the discount price okay so right now what is happening that if a user providing a discounts more than the price that would be possible suppose the price of an nft is 100 and someone enter the discount they can get is 110 which is not possible okay which is not possible so here we have to build the condition for that as well so we'll take this object and here we say type is going to be number and here we're going to call this validate and here we go to write this validator we'll have this function okay which will actually validate the price which is coming so we'll have this function and we'll have this value so whenever they will provide any discount price we'll have this in this function and now we can easily able to compare so we'll have this return and we'll say that whatever the value we are getting as a discount price it should be less than the this dot price again this refers to the current schema and we have the price so it should be the discount price should be less than the price okay let me write this here so we'll say if 200 is greater than 100 means if the discount price is 200 and the actual price of the nft is 100 then we want to throw an error okay we want to say that if 20 is less than 100 means our price is 100 and then we are providing 20 as a discount then it's a valid statement okay so that's how we can do it now the question is that how you can send the message okay so that's very easy you can take this message and you can type your message okay price should be below regular price okay regular price and that's looking fine now we can test this out okay so that's will work for me and let's come here and let's come to the post method and here we'll try to change the name and here we can increase the price discount price okay actually we don't have it so so let's add that so okay we don't have here the so let's come back to the copy this and simply paste here and we can add the discount price something less let's say big 555 okay which is more than the price so now let's hit a request we'll get an error and boom here we got the inner price discount price should be below regular price but it would be better if we would say say given the price range okay so to display the price they have provided here we can take this one okay so we have this value and we can wrap this and we can say value okay i this work in a weird way okay so we have the access of the value as well okay so we can display that so if we save it and this will only work okay this will only work at the time of creating nft not at the time of updating okay so that's the thing you have to keep in mind only at the time of creating not the time of updating so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind and now we can hit the request and here you can see we can easily able to have the price the discount price if we make it to five and hit request things are looking for success and we have our nft okay things are looking good hope these are making sense so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video that how you can use the inbuilt mongoose schema model for validating the data and how you can create your own 
as we have created in the discount price okay okay in the next video we'll talk about the one package which you can utilize this to validating all the data without writing all these code okay which will save you a lot of time and that's very important because not only you want to validate the name you if you want to take a payment you have to validate the valid credit card number okay so that's the thing we're going to cover in the next video so let's move to that